Hello and welcome to part 9 of my little panoramic photography tutorial series. Well, as you heard, it's part 9 already, so it's not that little anymore. Have a look at the other parts, um, ideally starting from the beginning, and that actually takes you through quite a few different um, things involved in uh, 360 by 180 panoramic photography and post-processing post of these images. Um, today I want to show you a little technique that I've been asked about a few times and that's actually very very easy to do. It looks quite impressive but it's super easy to do. And that technique is mirror ball tripod caps or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's easiest shown. Um, so here's my image. I shot this from the uh, tallest clock tower or church tower in the world, um, the Ulmer Münster in the south of Germany. And as you can see, there's this big mirror sphere at the bottom here. That is there to just um, cover up the mess that that basically happened down there at the nadir because that was shot shooting around the outside of the tower. And obviously I didn't have a bird's eye view from the top of the, uh, of the tower. So there's just a big um, mess at the bottom. And um, so the nice way of just getting out of there and an easy way is you just place that um, mirror ball on top. Um, it looks nice, blends in quite well with the rest of the image and it certainly draws a bit less attention than like a big fat black circle or a mirror of sorts. Um, just want to show you a quick picture of the church. It's quite pretty, very tall um, and used to be the tallest uh, structure in the world between uh, 1890 and 1901. Anyway, that doesn't need to interest us. Anyway, how do I um, get this beautiful mirror cap? As I said, it's a very, very simple and straightforward trick. Here is um, my, oh, I haven't opened it, there we go. That's the image as it comes out of the Pitigui stitcher. What is that? Get away. Um, so as I said, there's a bit of a mess down here. You can see that I don't have any image information and I couldn't possibly um, retouche this. So I just placed the mirror cap on top of it. So let's open up the image in your favorite uh, photo editing software. It doesn't need to be Photoshop, can be GIMP or whatever, um, because you're just going to use some super basic um, functionality. Now, the reason this works so easy, it's really thanks to the equirectangular projection and the way that actually just, you know, remaps the pixels. But all you need to do basically is just, um, for easiness sake, you draw, drag down a guideline, or you don't even need to do that. Um, but that way it's easiest done. Then you select the area above the image. Um, first you want to duplicate the layer. There we go. So I've got a duplicate of the layer. I've selected the area above my, my messy bits and then I'm just going to transform them down. I just pull them down, resize them and if you go beyond that point it just flips it upside down. That's it. Moved it down, hit enter and you've got the um, the top image just mirrored down vertically. So here's, the, here's just the mirrored, mirrored down version of what was sitting on top and that just covers that that messy area. And that's it already. If you now save that image, open it up in your panorama uh, viewer, then you will see that mirror sphere at the bottom. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Now, if you want to be fancy and you may want to make it a bit more, well, I wouldn't say realistic, but if you want to add a little bit of um, sugar to the icing, you can add in a drop shadow, angle of minus 90 degrees. And as you can see, that brings up a little shadow here on the top edge of the of the sphere and then it'll look like it's casting a, a shadow. Now you can increase the, you can play with the parameters a little bit, soften it up of sorts. Um, again, this is completely up to you. Um, you will have a bit of a problem here on the side. So another way of doing this is, so you could either use this, but I think that probably won't, um, that won't match the other side. There's probably just gonna be a small gap there. So if you don't want to use the drop shadow, you can also just use a gradient. So let's say we go from black to nothing, add a new layer, and then I'll just draw a little bit of a gradient up here. Yep, chuck that underneath the previous image. And again, we've got a gradient, uh, we've got the little, the shadow effect. I just drag down the opacity and then you get a hint of a shadow there. And another thing, again, if you want to be realistic, a mirror never reflects all the light, so you can just darken down um, the mirror image a little bit. Um, for that, you can, again, just either overlay some a black box or you can just use a color overlay in Photoshop. Um, so let's say we don't want to overlay it with red, but with black. Hit OK. And that's overlaid a big black box on top. So I'm just going to turn down the opacity and all that's going to do is just, there's a million ways of doing this, I know, um, but let's just do it that way for example's sake. Reduce it down to say 10%. And now the mirror image is going to be a little bit darker. 
So let's just see what we've created. I'm just going to save the image. Underscore done. I want to discard all the layers, so I'm flattening the image as I export it. All these layers are just going to be merged down. And um, it's spending good while saving the image. Come on. There we go. Almost there, 99%. Done. Okay, here is the one that I just did. So let's close the previewer and reopen it. And there. Yep, it all takes a while today. I'm not sure what's wrong with my computer today. Normally it's not that slow, but hey. <sighs> Eventually, I just want to show you that, that, that mirror um, tripod cap. That's really all that is to it. You just flip down the 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 image that um, where you have a good part. So let's go full screen. And there we go. There's my tripod sphere with a bit of a cheesy shadow. Again, in a situation like this makes absolutely no sense where you're floating on top of a tower. But say if it was on, on the on the ground, um, you know, just regular ground under your feet, then the the shadow might look a little bit more convincing. But anyway, here's the, the mirror sphere, mirror ball, tripod cap trick. Um, very easy, as you can see, and it's always a good trick to have, have up your sleeve. All right, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I do chuck the odd private or non-panoramic -panora uh, photography-related video into my channel. Apologies for that. Just If that doesn't interest you, then just skip it. All right, thanks very much, and catch you later. Bye.